So this is my kitchen before here. It was so dull and dreary and something was definitely missing. And that something was a stunning backsplash. Before you install your kitchen backsplash, you want to make sure that you have a nice working space. So clear off all your counters and then you're going to want to go ahead and make sure you remove all the outlet covers and light switch covers that are in the space where the backsplash is going to go. Before we get into doing the backsplash, you want to make sure that you cover all your counters to protect them. So I just use old painting tarps and I cover all my countertops. So I decided to go with Glen Gary and their thin brick. So the brick that I'm going to be using for this project is their stone wall thin brick and you're going to see this space totally transform. I'm going to be starting from the base of my counter and working my way up. I'm going to be using quarter inch spacers for my brick. So once I know exactly what direction I'm going to go, I grab my first brick and I'm using a construction grade adhesive to cover the back of the brick. You want to make sure you use a generous amount of adhesive and then simply place your brick on the wall. You want to hold the brick in place for about 10 to 15 seconds just to give it a little time to grab to the wall. You are then going to go ahead and place the next brick beside that brick, making sure that you place a spacer in between. When I come to a spot where I have to cut a brick, I measure the distance and then I cut the brick accordingly, allowing for room for the spacer as well. To cut our thin brick, we used a jigsaw with a diamond blade. I want to make sure that I stagger the brick so that the vertical grout lines are not in the same spot. This will give me a nice realistic staggered brick look. We made appropriate cuts for around the outlet covers and the light switches. You want to make sure that the brick goes directly up against the light switch cover box because you're going to lay your outlet covers back over top of the brick. We continued placing our brick working our way up the wall. Once the bricks were all in place, we let the adhesive fully set overnight so that the bricks didn't move when we were applying our grout. Once the bricks were set, we did apply a sealer, two coats of this sealer, before applying the grout. This just helps when you're grouting to clean the grout off. It seals the bricks so that the grout doesn't get stuck in all the lines of the brick. To apply the sealer, you can either dab it on with a sponge or you can spray it directly on the brick. According to the directions on the back of the sealer, we let the sealer set on the bricks for about 5 to 10 minutes. After that time, we could go ahead and grout. So we're going to be using a mix your own style of grout, but you can use pre-mixed grout if you want an easier route. So we just mixed our grout according to the manufacturer's instructions. For our grout, we decided to go with an antique white color. Once we had our grout all mixed up, we are going to apply the grout using a float. So we place the grout on the float and then push it into the grout lines. So we applied the grout in small batches, letting it set for about 10 minutes. And then we came in with a thick sponge and we wiped away the grout. When you're wiping away grout, you want to make sure you do one pass with your sponge, flip it, and then do another pass. This will prevent you from moving the grout around into other areas. Rinse out your sponge and then come back and do the same process again until you've cleaned off all the grout from your brick. You want to make sure that you give your grout sufficient enough time to fully set and harden in between the bricks. So make sure you leave the grout for at least 12 to 24 hours. Once finished, you can replace your outlet covers and here is our finished brick backsplash. It is so gorgeous. It, it is everything that I hoped it would be for this kitchen. It really adds to our country kitchen style and I'm so happy with these thin bricks from Glengarry. The stonewall color is perfect for our finish and goes perfectly with our cream cabinets. We really hope that you enjoyed this project and we hope that it inspires you to get creative in your kitchen. Thank you so much for tuning into Home Talk and I'll see you on another video.